when you first started rapping, so like a couple of years ago, or even maybe more than a couple of years ago, and yeah. you told your mom, you know, I want to grow up and I want to be, I want to be a pretty successful rapper. What did she cry? She just didn't get it. Nobody got it. I, I had a really successful job. I was making over like 70 grand seven wow. years ago, which was more than, than now. You know, benefits, bonuses, vacation, my own office. Like, I had it good. And, uh, you know, but I just wasn't fully fulfilled. I had this dream, this passion in my heart. And, you know, a lot of people just dream. A few people actually take action and make it a reality. And I just had to step out. And I stepped out and... You know, I fell on my face a few times, but that's just what happens in life. And, you know, I got a God on my side that's, you know, for me and not against me. And just yeah. uh, just don't quit, you know, no matter how many times you fall down, especially coming from a skateboarding background, too. You know, you fall down a lot, but you got to just get up and you got to go again, you know. And so it's, uh, it's working out now and just, yeah, things are great. And did you have any key people in your life that kind of helped boost you up when you first started off? Yeah, I just had a lot of good friends um, that were around me. You know, my wife, uh, super supportive. I've been married for seven years. What's up? Ah! And uh, she's, like, so cool. We're a team. She's been a great encouragement. And just, you know, my producers, my friends, uh, have a, my kind of consultant slash manager has been really awesome the past few years. And it's just been, it's been going really well, man, yeah. And I know that you've had a couple of your songs kind of go crossover onto some movie soundtracks or show soundtracks, yeah. is that right? Yeah, And because we were talking with a, another Christian rapper and he was saying that what the hip hop community needs as far as Christian artists go is are some some big crossover um, artists to kind of get the get the name out. Because he was mentioning that, that hip hop it's kind of like a sub of the subculture of Christian music. Um, and so you're kind of like a nice testament of, of that, that movement starting to happen. Yeah, it's starting to break out. And it's just, you know, it's a game, you know what I mean? Like uh, just figuring it out and what works and what doesn't, you know? Like you can't just make music in your basement for you. You got to think about the masses. And sometimes you just do get a lucky break where you get in a big movie or in a placement. Right. It's just like, yeah, it's dope, you know? And what was it like listening to yourself? Did you ever get a chance to watch a, watch the show when it first came out and hear yourself you know, on the TV? You know, I haven't. I know we got in, like, Knight Rider, the new one, and, like, we got in some other stuff, TV shows, and uh, I had a lot of people calling me at one time. We got on the NFL Nike Rewind commercial, which was really cool. Nice. And, uh, you know, it was cool seeing the way they edited it to your song and stuff and just their ideas and stuff. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, it's dope, but I wasn't like watching it on TV. I, it wasn't fully that. It was normally like a link and stuff. Oh, so okay. It was the same thing. Okay. So, uh, well, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, totally, dude. Stoked. Uh, Steel Roots, man. What's yeah. Up? Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah here with Steel Roots at Cornerstone 2010, hanging out with Manifest. What's up? And uh, we look forward to your show. Yeah, for sure. Some good times. Yeah. See you later. Hey, 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 hey,